I think it's really weird uh, to meet, always meeting Andres Almirai. Hello, Andres. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. I think it's really weird because you're a Java champion, right? Yes, I am. And I always meet you at Groovy conferences. Um, I don't know, how did you get to, to learn uh, this language? How did you get to learn Groovy? You're Java champion, but you're in Groovy conferences. Yeah, the thing is that I actually discovered uh, the Groovy language very early in my career, in, back in 2006. I fell in love with the language because it was very dynamic and it was on top of the JVM. And I fell so hard in love with this one that I started to contribute to other projects, of not just Groovy, but also parts of the Groovy ecosystem. And as part of that, I got in touch with more and more people inside the JVM. And eventually all those contributions and talks and additions to open source projects led me uh, to be in a position where I was nominated as a Java champion. So as actually I became Java champion thanks to Groovy, thanks to knowing all those things on the people and the community and the projects. Curious. Yes, exactly. And I'm very happy because uh, some people have been saying that uh, Java champions are not exactly just the language. It's, it's actually the whole Java ecosystem is the JVM and Groovy is a very important of such community. Mm -hmm. You're giving, uh, you're uh, taking part in an open discussion tomorrow, right? Or the day after? It's, yes, correct. Yeah, and um, the, 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 this open discussion title name, it's uh, Future of Groovy. I don't know, uh, what do you think about, I don't know what's your perspective of it? Of it? What's your, what do you think would be nice to be the future of Groovy? Well, the f there are two things that people, of, well, now there are actually two things that people are asking what's going to happen with Groovy. The first one was when Pivotal decided to let go of the Groovy and Grails teams and then everybody went to their own places and Groovy joined the Apache Foundation. So there was a little bit of, of, of hesitance and confusion what was what's going to happen with the future of the language. We are happy to say that Groovy is stronger than ever. We got more members in the community, we got more pushes, we got more commitment, uh, contributions from outside people, not just the core team. And the second one is what happened a few weeks ago when Gretel uh, said that in the next big release they're going to have, they're going to support an additional JVM language, in this case, Scotland. Mm -hmm. So will Groovy will fade away in favor of Kotlin and whatnot, and what's going on? And so people are starting to get nervous. They don't know exactly what will be. But again, I'm also happy to say that the Groovy community is quite strong now. So that if, to be the case, that one big project such as Gradle decides to to take a different route and maybe Groovy no longer becomes the primary uh, language, well, it's still going to be there and people are going to still learn in the language and use it in many other environments. So what does that mean for the future of the language? Of course, there are new features that I would like to add, such as a new implementation of the grammar or a new implementation of the, the dispatch object protocol. But in terms of ecosystem and projects and people new coming to the community, I've seen this it's, it's still okay for now, so I'm not really too much worried about that. Okay, thank you, Andres. Hope to see you soon here or at Spain at GridConf. So thank you for your time, Andres. Of course.